First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and honor to the elder apostles of Great Moulson that teaches truth, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that be listening and learning across the globe I don't want to make this lesson too long this lesson is going to be based on that fiery furnace okay and really it was beautiful how everything played out the same men the same wicked men that were trying to were not trying to they did accuse Shadrach Meshach they told on them they went to what Nebuchadnezzar and said they were not bowing down to your what your statue your image and this is the same thing you can acquaint this with what's about to happen with the RFID trip because everybody's going to be under that pressure but the difference is the men of the Lord the true prophets the hopeful elect they're not going to bow down to the image of Baal Baal okay let's go to Daniel 3 we're not going to read all of it there's a lot Daniel 3 and 8 the Chaldeans came there and accused the Jews okay they spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar O king, live forever. And they were very they were into idolatry as well. That's why they would reverence what man. Rather than the heavenly father that created man. Though O King, has thou made a decree? Okay, a particular law, a particular statute. But every man that hear the sound of the cornets, and these were all distinctive sounds, flute, sagbuck, sortery, and the soma. And in different regions, different regions and different, they had different what sounds, okay, that they would what be familiar with, and all kinds of music. It says all kinds shall fall down and worship the golden image. So this golden image was what idolatry, okay. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth. That he should be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Where are certain Jews, this is when they were grasping on them. Whom that has set over the affairs. Because it's going to tell you of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Benedigo. Because these were wise men. That's why they were set over the affairs of these kingdoms. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods. Powers. Okay. So in other words, not regarded. Another word for God is respect. They don't have any respect unto that decree that was put out. They will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. When Nebuchadnezzar in his rage, so demons jumped on him, and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do you not serve my powers nor worship the golden image? Which I have set up. Now, if you be ready at that what time you hear the sound of a cornet, flute, harp, sagbat, psaltery, the salma, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if you worship not, you shall be cast into the same hour in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So that was a threat to their life. And who is that power that will deliver you out of my hands? So he was being very disrespectful. Okay, or he would not have said, Who is that power that would deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. So, in other words, they didn't need to think twice about what they were going to do concerning that matter. If it be so, our power, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. What level of faith there is? Okay, so they were confident. They were confident. Okay. Men, see, you got men that would say, oh, that's, that, that's, that's a proud statement. No, they said that. <laughs> okay, the burning fiery furnace, he would deliver us out of thine hand, O king. That was a confident statement. Yahweh wants his men to be confident in him. Not unconfident, not doubting. Okay. But if not, so they said, but if not, see, if that, that's the worst case scenario, if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods. So they had high levels of integrity. Nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. 
Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the form of his vitreous was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat up the furnace one seven times more than it wont to be heated. In other words, double. And he commanded the most mighty men that are in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Alright? When these men were bound with their coats and their hose and their hats and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay, bear me just a minute. Ah, oh, man, it's not showing in this image. Actually, yeah, it burnt them up. Okay, bear me just a minute. And fell, and fell bound into the midst of the burning furnace. Then, bear me just a minute. And the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay, they were burnt. Burnt to a crisp. And these men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Okay. When Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste. Bear me just a minute. And spake and said unto his counsel, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Okay. He answered and said, The king, true, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and he have no hurt. Okay. And the form of the fourth is like the son of the most high. And you see this image, what? There's a fourth man, which was what? Yahweh Shine. Okay. That was what? Guiding them. That was what? Protecting them. When Nebuchadnezzar came to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High Power, come forth, come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, captains, and the king's captains being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power. Nor was the hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed. Let me just a minute. Neither were their coats changed. Nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Whew! Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, that trust, that faith, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any power except their own power. So the angel, which was Yahavashai, delivered them. Bear me just a minute. I just want to speak on that. Let's quickly go to Psalms 34 and 7. Why did that happen? Psalm 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord Yahushua encampeth round about Rem that fear him. So it's because they feared Yahushua more than they feared what the king's commandment. So guess what? The angel what? Which was Yahushua? Come past them round about and delivereth them. And they were delivered from that fiery furnace. They were dancing in that furnace. Okay. <laughs> Maybe just a minute. See, this, this is level. There's different levels to faith and this truth. And reading these scriptures, what it, what's it supposed to do? Boost your faith. Guard your faith. Now let's go to Ecclesiastes. Wait me just a minute. I want to make sure this is in the right order. Now you know what? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this is all good. This is all good. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 2 and 5. Ecclesiasticus 2 and 5. It's going to be the same thing in this time. Don't worry about those that rise up against you. If you be a man of the Lord... All those that rise up against you, all the false accusers, all the demons, anybody that rises up against you, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? Yahweh is going to flip that around. Right? And that's what you have to believe. As long as you're doing what Yahweh says, as long as you fear him, you're going to be looked after. Okay? Even, even, bear me just a minute, even in these worst case scenarios. Okay? Ecclesiastes 2 and 5. Jump straight to it. For gold is tried in the fire. And this is referring to men. Abedidigo, Shadrach, Misha, they were at gold tried in the fire. Okay. And this is spiritually and what? Physically. Okay. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. That was a furnace. And that was adversity. Okay. Figuratively and literally. Oh, if I'm saying it right. Liter literally. Okay. Believe in him and he will help thee. That's why they were delivered. 
and order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord Jehovah wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord Jehovah believe in him and your reward shall not fail. Okay. So the, that's what these men done. Okay. And it played out what through the spirit. So now let's go to Isaiah 43. I could make this lesson longer but I'm not going to do that. It's all according to Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because some of my lessons they really do drag on. But you know it's all according to Yahweh Shai's word. It's not up to me. Give me just a minute. Go to Isaiah 43. Uh, he gets straight to the point. Let's go to Isaiah. For, but now thus saith the Lord Jehovah Shai that created thee O Jacob and he that formed thee O Israel. Fear not. But I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name that art mine. When thou passest through the waters. Okay. The waters represent what? Trouble. Afflictions. Okay. Remember what it says in Matthew 7 and what? Something in 24. The parable of what? The rock. Okay. Which was Yahweh Shai. And what? The waters. Okay. And it wasn't swept because it was what built upon a rock. So when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, thou shalt not overflow thee. Okay. When thou walkest through the fire. Which Abednego, Shadrach, and Meshach, they were walking through what? That fire. Okay. Thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Why? Because you're going to be what? Protected. You're going to have that hedge around you. That's what's going to happen to the hopeful elect. All these scriptures are what for the comfort of the hopeful elect, those that have faith, those that don't have faith. And guess what? I've said this a few times. I strongly, strongly, strongly believe for the spirit. All the men that were not really sincere about this truth, all the men that were scheming, plotting, that were not sincere, that sold out, that were taking this for a joke. I believe Yahusha is going to give them a horrible, horrible death. Okay. You know, all the ones that were scheming, everything. Yahweh is going to give them a horrible death. Those that always had the right mindset towards Yahweh, they're going to be looked after. Okay, Yahweh is going to turn them tables. All right. So with this, I hope this is edifying. And until the next time, shadow one to the hopeful elect. Shadow one.